Hey guys, Blubber here, and today we are kind of going over a video I did a long while ago. It's like been nearly like six months, but this video I'm recreating. The original one is outdated as it was made before the revamp for Southwest Florida. So anyways, today we are going over a beginner's guide to Southwest Florida. Now, again, I made one before the revamp and that video actually picked up quite a bit, but there are a lot of questions people have now that I can't really answer too well because, you know, the game has obviously been revamped, hence why we're here. So I'm going to be like... I'm gonna try to like make, not gonna just video mini cuts, rather than doing cuts, speeding up some footage of driving and stuff so you guys know like where to drive to and where to go. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna be in like this um, loading screen right here. Uh, first of all, you're gonna wanna click play. And you're really like, okay, so I am at this like beach area. Um, now, there's two ways you can go about this. You can either join the dealership team, just click that dealership team, you'll be taken immediately to the dealership if you want to go like buy a car or something. I'm not sure how much money you get when you first join the game. Or, uh, you're going to have this one car here, well, let me, well you're going to have two cars. You're going to have the 2020 Toyota Camry, the base version right here. Or, you will have the 2019 Mazda 3. You get these cars for 100% free, and the best thing about them is that I believe they do not run out of gas. So you're going to want to spawn that in. Uh, to hop in the car, you're going to hold down E. Then you're going to hop in, obviously. Uh, you want to press F to turn on the car. And we're like, okay, why this car is not driving? You want to press E on your keyboard to shift into first gear. Then from then on, it is automatic. If you're wondering how you go into reverse, you can press Q from N and go there. So E and Q to switch gears, all that. If you're wondering how you can change your car color, uh, each car comes with about five colors. So like you just see this right here. You can click on the color you want, then press confirm paint and get the color car you want. So here, let's go with blue for now. Also, you might be wondering how you honk your horn. H on your keyboard. So right now, I'm going to be driving over to the dealership where you can buy your first car and all that. Again, if you guys want to just teleport there, just click on the dealership team. You'll be teleported there instantly. But for everyone who wants to drive, I'm going to speed up some footage here. Kind of talk about some other stuff you guys might want to know as we drive over there. So you're just going to want to follow this main road. Uh, what I love about this game is that if you follow the main road, you'll be taken probably to wherever you need to go. Another useful tip. Go into settings and make sure you enable location markers. These will be extremely useful to people new to the game. So right there, we have a gas station stud rack. If you want to go to the gas station, given again, these beginner cars do not have gas. They cannot run out of gas. But when you get new cars or you pay for a car, they will run out of gas. You need to go to these gas stations to refuel them. Then some other markers should appear. Yeah, so there we go. We have a CVA, CVC pharmacy and a police station. We have the bank over there, a water park over there as well. Again, just remember, keep on going down this road. Another thing, um, lights are automatically automatically set to auto, so they all just turn on themselves, or you can manually turn them on using L and manually turn them off using L. I just keep them on auto because super easy, you don't even need to worry about it. There's also a radio right here, which you can turn on. There's only two radio stations. Actually, you can pay for your own custom radio, but that's gonna be that's gonna cost you basically 70 Robux. But yeah, there is a radio option if you guys are wondering that. To the right there, just click that. And then there's a thing for Twitter codes, all that passenger seats, you can keep those unlocked or locked. I personally keep mine locked. You can also enable and disable vehicle collisions and enable and disable auto flip. Again, we are still going down this main road. Uh, there and then there, there's a Vintech over there. There's also a Starblocks behind that. There's McBlocks, there's Mirage Club and the dealership right over here. And another gas station. So this game's pretty good. Just to make, if you have your location markers on, you'll find to where you need to go. So when you eventually get to this huge intersection here, you're gonna wanna take a right turn. Also blinkers, uh, for emergency ha hazard lights, press X. If you want to turn right, press C on your keyboard. And if you want to turn left, press Z, or I'm pretty sure you guys call it Z in America, I'm not sure. I In Canada we call it Z, so. And right here is the dealership. Uh, you can honestly just kind of cut across there, or you can drive around through properly, although we are trying to save time on this video, so we're just going to cut right across here. Now again, if you would have just chosen the dealership job, you would have instantly been teleported over here as seen by this real quick. We're going to be, yeah, see, we were just teleported here. Also, uh, we will be going over jobs, so I'm qu going to quickly show how you can get a car real quick. So also, you can be, you can work at the dealership. You can just chill here and you'll be making $250 per 30 seconds. I'm going to I'm not going to really go too far into like how to make money. I'm going to make actually a separate video on how to make money, which should be coming out pretty soon, actually. So keep an eye out for that if you guys want to know how to make a lot of money. Okay, so you're at the dealership running. Okay, how do I buy a car? Because, like, I've walked inside now. Also, you need to walk through these doors. You cannot walk through the windows. Uh, you're going to walk over to this like, green highlighted area. Then you're going to be presented with a huge uh, selection of cars. So we have coupes. 
bunch of cars here to choose from. Hatchbacks, bunch of cars here to choose from. SUVs, probably the widest selection of SUVs. Uh, sedans, of course, too. Uh, pickup trucks. Supercars. One thing I love about this game, they do not hide supercars and hypercars behind game passes. That's what I love about this game. The dev devs, these are amazing devs. Uh, also, we have hypercars, of course. Uh, classic cars. Classic cars are really cool. I really like the, um, what is it? I'm pretty sure it's the Nova SS or S uh, Camaro SS. Well, no, wait, the Nova SS or I don't know which one. Then there's emergency vehicles, of course. Then there's a van, a minivan right here. Okay, so what I would suggest is find a car that's not too expensive, but you can see yourself getting with the time they matter. So for some cars, I recommend for beginners saving up for the 2020 Hot Honda Civic Coupe. Pretty good car. Uh, there's also the 2019 Toyota GT86. Uh, I've actually driven this car a few times. Really good car. Um, let me think of some more. You can also save up for the 2002 Mazda Miata. Pretty good car, although it only has two seats, so you might want to watch out for that. Some other good cars. Um, let me think here. Uh, the 2016 Far Taurus, pretty good car as well. Then there's a 20, 2020 Nan Versa, pretty cheap. I'm trying to like, choose a bunch of cars to just, so I can like suggest some to you guys. For SUVs, um, I could suggest, let me think here, the 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser. I drove that car a ton load before the great event. Really good car, by the way. Then let me think of one more here. Um, you can save up for the 2020 Jeff Wrangler, and again, another really good car. And I'll do one more uh, kind of like area, the 2000 Toyota Supra, only 25 grand, really good car. The R34 is a bit more expensive, 80 grand, so I wouldn't really suggest that. Although the 1970 Nova SS, really fun car to drive around. Anyways, now that I've gone through like a bunch of car suggestions for you guys, now like like kind of a car you have in mind that you want to save up for. Again, I completely forget how much money you get off at the start of the game. I, I don't really know how to check that, but if you have enough money, you can for sure get one of those. Or if you want something a bit more expensive, what I'm trying to say is find a car that you want that you can get in a reasonable amount of time and just have that car in mind. Now, next thing you're going to want to do, you want to click on this briefcase right here and you're going to want to choose a job that you think suits you best. Again, it's all personal preference. I will, although be making a video within the next, there will be a video within the next few days coming out on how to make money at a good rate. So, but I'm going to, between now and then, I'm going to experiment with some jobs, see which one I think pays best and go over those. But it's completely up to you. So like for right now, I'm currently, I clicked on dealership job and I'm currently in dealership. I'm about to get promoted actually. So, um, how about we, sp or how about like we talk about some other stuff or I can just speed it up until we get to promotion. So also, uh, click this money sign. You can buy some money with Robux or buy some game passes. I myself really, I only have one game pass. I don't even know which one it is. And here you go, vehicles again. You can this is where you can spawn in your cars. Settings, um, and yeah, there's a game version right here. Okay, we're gonna just speed it up until I get the promotion, guys, and we'll be right back when we get that promotion. Okay, we are getting awfully close to our promotion. Next time we get paid, we get promoted, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I've actually have not been promoted in the revamp, believe it or not. Although, I used to grind the heck out of um, the criminal job before the revamp. But they changed the criminal job. So, yeah. And we've just been promoted to sales consultant. So, every single time you get promoted, you start getting paid more money. So, if you remember before, we were getting paid $250 per 30 seconds. Now, we get paid $375 per 30 seconds. That's pretty crazy, right? If you ask me, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so now that you kind of have a job here, I'll, I'll showcase one more job just so you guys know. Just click on whatever one you want and you'll be transported there. There, is a, there are a few ones that pay a lot differently. So for jobs, I would not recommend for beginners. Do not choose criminal. Rift driver, I would also su suggest staying away from. As those jobs, you don't get paid all the time. You actually have to like go do tasks or whatever. But if you like to keep busy, those jobs are good for you. Here, uh, let's just do hospital worker, for example. I, I tried out this job a tiny bit. And we are just teleported to the hospital. Now, again, for most of these jobs, you have to like be in proximity to the building, and you can just chill in here. And yeah, you just kind of chill in here, and you kind of get like paid money. And that's how it works when it comes to jobs. Again, each job I'm pretty sure has four to five promotion levels. So, just oh my god, I just started over my like own words. I guess just like keep that in mind. I guess. 
Oh, another really good job for beginners. I actually, I feel the knees go over this because police job pays really well because I found, or I might be incorrect. I swear, if I'm incorrect, I'm going to feel so embarrassed. Here, uh, let's just spawn in. By the way, guys, you do not have to buy your police car or any car for like a like emergency job. A car will be provided to you for free. So notice how like I'm just driving around and I'm still working. So what I love about um, this job right here is the police shop why i recommend it to beginners you are practically always getting paid when you're driving around in your police car you know don't you don't even need to pay for your police car which is a really good part about it so yeah, you just kind of drive around although i have found that emotion i mean promotions i believe they do not advance nearly as fast as get paid so i'm pretty sure promotions are every like 60 seconds well, job pays every 30 seconds. I don't know if it's like that for every job. I think that's just with this job. I'm gonna see if I do get an extra percent to my promotion though, when next time we get paid. We're just gonna kind of stick around and see. Yeah, okay, so it looks like every sing every second time you get paid, you get a extra percent to your promotion. So just keep that in mind if you are doing the police job. I'm just trying to think, is there like any area that I've not gone to? Um, I'm trying to think. But yeah, as I said, just experiment with jobs, find which one fits you best and stick to that job because if you stick to it, you will work your way up and you will start gaining promotions, which equals a lot more money. So just, you know, kind of keep that in mind. I'm trying to like think of like things I have not gone over. But again, police job is what I recommend most for beginners because you are like practically always getting paid. It's just going to take a little bit longer to get promoted, but like that's on right side. Also, if you go to, if you take a left at the spawn, you're gonna be taking this area. This area is a lot more secluded. I guess it's secluded, what you could say. But over here we have Golf Paradise and Seaside Bar and Grill. Oh, I just realized I've not gone over how to like buy your apartments. So I'm gonna have to go over that. I'm gonna have to find the apartment buildings real quick though. Oh, Paradise con Condos right here. Okay, I'll go over those in a moment here. I'm gonna take you to the Seaside Bar and Grill though. If you guys played before the Ramp revamp, you guys remember how like. I guess iconic this building was I, I'm kind of like really sad this thing isn't in like a more like primary area like I feel like it should be off in the main road over there but everyone before the revamp used to come and chill here really fun place okay now I'm gonna teach you guys how to like buy your first condo and all that all right so here let's go in here I'm, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible just gonna park my car here emergency lights on also as police officer you'll receive a gun which won't damage anyone unless you enable pvp so if you're trying to like shoot a criminal or something enable pvp you also have a raider gun which can you can see how fast your car other cars are going and a cone placer if you want to block off something anyways so you entered the building and runner okay so i'm in this building how do i buy my condo so you're going to want to just go ignore the front desk and you're going to want to hop in this elevator right here from this elevator you can choose whatever floor you want let's just go with the fifth floor for example you're going to be taking up pretty fast elevator if you ask me now you're going to be like okay i'm up here you're gonna want to go to this side by the balcony, and you're gonna want to like try to find a building you can like rent out, I guess. So homeowner nobody. Um, there we go. Just walk up against the door, click on it, then you can buy the house. Uh, you can also just oh yeah, the door's gonna be locked. Just make sure you click on the door, then the door will unlock, of course. And this is the house. Is there any lights I can turn on? Oh, there is. Okay. So y you guys want to click like these little light things over here, turn your lights on if it's dark out. And I will also jump to like how you can buy houses and stuff like that. We'll do that closer to after this. Yeah, after this, we'll go over how to buy houses and all that. But yeah, Southwest Florida has really nice interiors. Another thing, you also don't have to pay for your house. Notice how I'm still making money for my police job, even though I'm literally just chilling inside my house. I am so sorry. I did not mean to hit my mic. I apologize for that. But yeah, um, then you can like, here's a bedroom, of course. This is actually a pretty spacious bedroom, if you ask me. Um, here, there, there it is. You can like sleep and stuff, all that. Devs are really good at making interiors. And of course you have a little bathroom right here. And a little closet right here. Can we actually go out to the balcony? You can go out to your balcony. This is really cool. And I guess there's like, oh, there's another like bedroom right here. Two bedroom apartment. That's pretty good if you ask me. And each one has its own private bathroom. That's pretty nice actually. Wait, can we? Oh, you can also turn that thing on. That's pretty cool. And yeah, um, this is the apartment 
Now, the only one thing I am not such a big fan about in this building is the fact that you do not have a bathroom to your guests. They have to go through your bedroom. Anyways, um, that is kind of like how you buy a apartment. That's kind of like a tour around a apartment. Uh, we're gonna go jump ahead to a house, or I'm gonna like jump back to spawn, and I'm gonna like take you guys on a drive to how you get to a house. So I'll get back to you guys when we were back at spawn. All right, so we are now back at spawn. We just spawn right over there. Just drive out here, and you're gonna take a right again. So basically, just head towards where the dealership is. I'm just gonna fast forward this footage a tiny bit, and then we can cut across to when we get near some of the housing areas. Oh, no, 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 wait, before we speed up, I totally forgot. If you're in a police car, just click on the lights to enable your lights, and it can enable, like, different types of sirens. So we have a whale, a yelp, and a priority. So that's how you... I totally forgot. I should have gone over that closer. But anyways, um, we're going to speed up until we get to the residential area. All right, so we just turned into one of the residential areas. So what you're going to want to do is, when you're trying to find a house to buy, you look for the houses with these, like... A house for sale thing right here also one thing if you're trying to sell your house click on your house icon down here and click manage you can oh okay i guess we must click sell apologies okay yeah and yeah when you come here just like kind of like circle around it click on it a few times i just i'm pretty sure circling will just work but i always click on it because i'm always unsure and now you have a house also click on your garage to open your garage that's pretty cool well, the garages are really small, so uh, I don't know if you're gonna really be able to fit a really big car in here, but you know, it, it's the it's the effort that counts, right? So you can also ring a doorbell. I'm pretty sure that applied to the apartments. So apologies, I totally forgot to go over that. Okay, so you're in your house. Um, again, click on these like light things to turn on your lights. And yeah, here are one of the houses. I I like the. I don't really know how to explain. It's kind of like minimalistic but modern i guess again kitchen living room everything over here now what's really cool about these houses is like their outdoor area things this is pretty cool if you ask me i like this have a little barbecue out here as well one thing i do miss though is if you guys remember before the revamp they had like this housing development area i wish that area somehow made it into the revamp because that was a really cool area and here's another bedroom let me turn on the lights in here really nice bedroom again Ball thing right there. Bed, uh, closet right over here, and it looks like your own little bathroom. Oh, this is actually a pretty nice bathroom. That's a really big shower. All right, uh, here. What else have we not gone over inside the house? So we have a bedroom here. Uh, we have another room right here. Another bathroom. This one your guests can actually use. And another bedroom right here. A bit smaller bedroom, but you know, does a job, right? Oh, that's weird. I did not know that turned that on. Hmm. Okay, I guess you can click on that. Then, of course, a little laundry room right here. Pretty nice. And back to your garage. Also, if you have an electric car, you can charge it right here. I'm going to have... Uh, I'm... You want... This is going to be a very long video, by the way. Uh, we're probably closer to the end, but... I'm going to go over how to, like, um, plug in your car, how to charge your electric cars, and how to fuel up your gas cars. So don't worry about that. We'll go over that in closer to the end of the video, though. Or probably right after this. But yeah, anyways. Uh, let's get on to the next thing, guys. Oh, oh wait. Actually, here... I'm sorry, this, play, this is all over the place. So, you can click manage. You can manage your home owners. So, if there are players in session, you click to add them if you want. You can also uh, choose the colors of your house. I did not go over this at the apartment. I apologize. So, yeah, you can kind of, like, go over the color inside your house, which is really cool. So, like, if you want your house this color, it could be that color and all that. You can also do custom colors. Oh, that's coming soon. Apologies for that. And, yeah, you can also sell your house by doing that. There you go. I believe my car is still in there. Um, uh oh, we can, you know what? We can just respond it. It's fine. This is a completely different car. Wait, can I? Do I need to drive a police car? That's a good question. Okay, well, you don't even need to drive your police car. You just need to be on a police team. You'll still be making money. So yeah, there's that. All right, well guys, I'm gonna drive around for a tiny bit, and then when we start to lose gas, I will drive. I like. What was that? Was that like a stutter or like, did I just like, I don't, my, my talking died. We can just say that. Anyways, when I start running out of gas, I will cut back to you guys and we can go to a um, gas station and learn how to fuel up our vehicle. One more thing. I, I'm like, this video is all over the place, but that's what I love about my like videos. I'm all over the place. If you guys want to know how to get to the hospital in Starblocks, uh, from the dealer, just keep on driving down this way down here. Again, the huge 
things in the sky will easily help you, but just keep on driving straight down this road and you'll see Fintech in the distance just past Fintech and behind Fintech there is a hospital and a Starbucks down here. So yeah, very useful. Uh, people seem to love to RP in this area. This is a really nice area to RP in, though, because the buildings are really nice over here. Yeah, this is where the hospital and everything is. So yeah, just an FYI. Anyways, we will cut back when we are low Alright, so gas. we are not low on gas, but we have lost some gas, so we can still refuel our car. So if your car if your car is low on gas, or you just want to refuel it because like halfway or like even a tiny bit, look for the gas icons in the sky and drive to those gas icons in the sky. If you don't have your thing, if you don't have like your icons in the sky enabled, you can find these gas stations very easily. Very, you can easily recognize them. Anyways, so you're just gonna want to pull in here, and I believe every gas station has different prices. So here, like this one here, this one is regular and needed two dollars sixty one cents. Let's go see how much the other one is, because there's another gas station down the road here. So we're gonna fast forward until we get there, and we're gonna see if that does, if that price matches up to the one down here. So we just gotta remember that price is two sixty one. Okay, we're getting quite close to the other uh, gas station, also known as Stud Rack over here. Okay, just gotta remember that price was two sixty one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, two, that one is two sixty one. This one is only two twenty two. So yeah, we'll look out for the prices. I'm, I'm actually not sure if those affect the prices at all. So you want to know how to get gas? Um, you literally just pull up here and click on the gas pump. Oh, apologies. You need to hop out of your car, then click on them. Then you can like fill to max, depending on how much um gas you want to get, it will cost a different amount. Like our like we have like we maybe like we use a gallon of gas at most. Oh, we've used 1.2 gallons. So you want if you if you're like completely out of gas, you might want to fill to half or a quarter, or I just always suggest doing max. Buy the fuel, and there you go. And that's how you fuel up gas. Now I'm also gonna be going over how to fuel up, or not how to fuel up, or how to charge a electric car. But I will cut back when I actually get a electric car, and yeah, I'll be right back in a moment, guys. All right, so now you have a electric car. Let's say you've been playing this for a few hours. You finally got this Tesla you've been wanting to buy for a little while, and you realize, wait a second, this thing doesn't have gas. It has a battery, and I need to charge it. Well, there are two ways you can go about this. I'm gonna show you the first way, which is probably applicable hiccups uh, applicable to most people. So what you're going to want to do is, pretty sure there's a few locations around the map, but the most easy to remember and most commonly commonly known is the charge station at spawn. So you're just going to pull up here at spawn, and yeah. And then you just click on it and your car starts to charge. It's, it's that easy. It takes a little while though, so just remember that it's going to take a little while for your car to charge up. But you don't have to pay a single dime for this, you don't spend any money. And yeah, no money spent at all, and your car's charged up. Another way to do this, so you don't have to come to spawn, you can actually do it at your house. So I'm gonna cut to us go driving to our house. We're gonna like cut to owning a house and how to charge your car when you get to your house. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've already shown you guys the residential area, but now if you have an electric car in your room, okay, so wait, my car is almost dead. How do I charge it at home? Well, let's just pretend our car battery is like nearly zero, right? I know it's 98. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're just gonna pull into your car and you can charge it here. So yeah. That's really cool. Can we actually leave our car? We can, I believe we can actually leave our car unattended and let it charge. Yeah, so you can hop out of your car, let it charge itself while you're like RPing inside. So that's very convenient. All these at your house, although the charging at those stations are gonna be, I believe they're gonna be a bit faster. So it kind of depends what you wanna do. And I kind of feel like I've gone over everything I wanna go over for beginners. I This is not an in-depth tutorial. This is just for people new to the game or people that like, Wanna just know about the basics of Southwest Florida? If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in comments below and I would be happy to answer all of them. I'll do my best to answer all of them, of course. Because one issue I had with my previous one is I kept on, I suddenly got questions months after that video came out and I was just like, wait a second. What I went over in that video does not apply at all to the revamp. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I will have a money guide coming out within the next few days for you guys looking to make a lot of money in this game. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.